Hey guys, it's Di, and I'm going to show you my makeup look of the month, which is actually my favorite look that I've used all month long, and I've used it actually the most as well. And you do need both naked palettes to do it, but I'm sure that there's probably some comparable colors out there. So first I'm going to start with my Tarte Poreless Primer and just put that all over. I'm still really loving all of my Tarte products. Next, I'm going to use my Sephora build a Bow Cover underneath my eyes. And a little bit of the NYX Green Concealer in a Jar around my red areas. And the last concealer I'm going to use is the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer. And I have this in the color Light Golden. It's kind of like my summer color in this. And this is my favorite concealer of all time. Next I'm going to use my Beauty Blender sponge and I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and it's full coverage so you really don't need that much at all. I'm just going to start out with a little bit and then probably build on it a little bit. And to set that, I'm going to use the Tarte Powder, and I have that in Fair, and I'm just going to use that all over to set my foundation. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of the NARS Pro Prime. I've been using this deluxe sample up and I really have liked it. I'm debating whether or not I'm going to buy a full size of this. But this has actually lasted me a really long time. You can see it's just a small sample. I'm going to curl my eyelashes real quick with my Sephora Collection Eyelash Curler. Now I'm going to use my Maybelline Expert Wear Eyebrow Pencil in the color this is dark brown. I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows with this. I just feel like they look a little bit more polished with this in there. Then I'm going to go to Cheeks and I have been using, this has been one of my favorites for this month, NARS Matahari a ton this month. This is a great kind of fall and pre-fall color. So I'm going to use just a little bit of this with my NARS Yuchiro brush. I feel like this blush brush from NARS works the best with their powders. I've tried it with other brands, but it didn't really seem to work quite as well. So it's just a nice, gorgeous flush color. I really love that one. And then I'm going to take a little bit of Too Faced Pink Leopard, which I always use. You guys have seen before. And I use this just to contour a little bit on my face. And then I'm just going to sweep a little bit of candlelight across my cheekbones in the eye area. Next I'm going to take Sen, which is actually in the original Urban Decay Naked Palette, but I actually have a separate one because I use it so much. I'm going to take the color Sen, and I'm going to sweep it all the way across my eyelids and all the way up to my eyebrow. And then I'm going to take from the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay, I'm going to go ahead and use a color that's a more matte color, it's called Tease. It's down here towards this end, and it's kind of like a matte taupe color. The next color I'm going to use is back to the original Naked palette, and this color is one of my favorite crease colors of all time. This is Hustle. It's all the way down here towards this end, and it's a really, really pretty brown color with almost like a little bit of a purple tone to it, so I think it goes really great with brown eyes. So I'm going to use a little bit of that in the crease.
And then going back to the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay, the last color that I'm going to use is Suspect. And it's kind of just a glimmery taupe color. I feel like it's really complementary to the Tease color and also the two other colors that I've used. So Suspect is going to go all the way across my lid and just kind of blend Tease with Hustle. And last, for just a little bit of highlighting, I prefer a color out of their original Naked palette, and it is Virgin all the way down here at the end. It's a really, really pretty color for highlighting, and it just works really well with my skin. I like that it's a little bit shimmery. I do prefer shimmer. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the insides of my eyes up here at the top by my brows. And then I also, when I highlight, I put it at the top of my lips for some reason just to kind of draw a little bit more light right there because I like to define that a little bit more. Next I'm going to put on a little bit of Dior's Lip Glow. I like to just use it to moisturize a little bit before I put on my regular lipstick and I'll let that set for a minute. And then I'm going to use my Tarte Lights Camera Mascara, mascara which is my favorite um, brand and honestly just my top mascara that I'm using right now. It works really well and it does everything that you want it to do just kind of as you would expect. It's a great kind of everyday mascara and it's definitely the look that I prefer. And last for eyes, I'm going to use a little bit of the Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in Charcoal. I'm just going to take this in the middle of my eye and sweep it outwards. And to finish off the look, I'm going to use the NARS lipstick, and the color is Sexual Healing. And despite the um, kind of saucy name, the color is just a gorgeous neutral color and actually was featured on Sephora's website as kind of the main picture for the NARS lipstick for a really long time. I tried so many colors trying to find this color, and it is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I'm not sure if it's still the featured color on Sephora. I'll have to look. But, um, you know, it's a really, really pretty color, and I can see why it was featured. And it looks gorgeous on as well. got just a little bit of shimmer to it and I think it's really good for people with cool undertones because it's got a little bit of pink in, in it but it doesn't have too much pink. It's definitely still a neutral. And then I'm going to finish it off with the Dior Gloss in 157. Alright, and that is my look of the month for September, and this has been one of my favorite looks for really a long time, and I found myself kind of gravitating back to it in September, and this is kind of a great basic everyday look that I do. I do this look for running errands, um, going to mom play dates, and that sort of thing, so I feel like it's really versatile just as a daytime look. And obviously it uses two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes um, in the Urban Decay Naked and Naked 2 palettes, so these are some of my favorites because I really love a neutral eye for every day most of the time. Um, so this is one of my most used looks. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.